with a check of the weather. Okay, this was the beginning of the storm of what we expected with the one to two inch snow total so far. Weather watchers have found the snow for us too. Look at Schaumburg. This picture coming in from Elton, all of his Christmas decorations now just glowing in the snow there. And then Alex in Chicago showing us his deck and his driveway where we have snow covered areas. Michael Lyons going to Heritage Green Park, finding a dog playing in the snow there. And look at Cindy's kids, Danny and Alex, already starting to build the igloos. They had two and a half or two and a quarter inches of snow there up in Lake Zurich. Well, what we're expecting as we go through time, temperatures are in the 20s. We're going to hold there, but as far as totals go so far in Porter, Greg saw four inches in Schaumburg, 3.4, 2.7 in Gurney, and an all sip from Eugene, 2.5. So far, National Weather Service total so far, Grays Lake 2.6, Chicago Heights 2.3, Arlington 2.2, and Morton Grove, Lamont straight up at two inches. I'm saying so far because we are not done at all with this storm. 22 degrees right now. Winds are at 10 miles per hour. It's keeping it chilly in spots down to 12 for it feels like in Aurora, 11 degrees into Cap 13 in Ottawa. So the winter storm warning is for the areas in pink here right through the day tomorrow, right through midnight. In fact, tomorrow evening. A winter weather advisory up for all the counties in purple surrounding that area of pink. So that first round of snow almost pushing through Chicago now. A slight break in our western suburbs. But when we look further to the west, we're watching another wave around Waterloo. This is going to spark some energy and bring more snow into our area after midnight. So here's Futurecast at midnight. We should be snow covered all over again. Going into the morning at 3 a.m. snow through the morning, through the lunchtime. This is 1 o'clock through the early evening. This is six o'clock. You're getting the idea. Then as we get into this time tomorrow night, we start breaking the system away from us. And at this time tomorrow night, the totals will be eight to 12 inches for the areas in white, which is most of us, six to eight further to the south, and then three to six can't get key southward because I do think some milder air may work in and create a rain snow mix. So through Monday, everybody's going to be talking about this winter storm snow from Chicago to maybe Boston. They may have more of a mix, though, because of that warmer air creating that ribbon of ice from Cincinnati to New York, rain to the south, so slick roads, some flight delays, maybe even road closures with that. Then we turn our attention to the middle of the week. Look at the dive in the jet. An Arctic blast arrives in the middle of the week. We expect a cold snap here with sub-zero wind chills Tuesday night through Friday morning. That's when we expect to have that dangerous core of that cold air right overhead. In fact, overnight lows are going to be so bitter Wednesday night. Three below, some spots dropping even colder than that. But when you factor in the wind, Wind. We're talking those three evenings with wind chills to 20 below zero. So dangerously cold there. All right. Thank you, Mary Kay.